The new M3 Ultra Max Studio is on its way and it could be coming with that new space black colour and of course it will be coming with the M3 Max and that new M3 Ultra inside. Today I want to start going over everything we know so far for the next generation Max Studio including design changes, specs and of course the Max Studio M3 Ultra release date and price too. So let's begin where we are then with the Max Studio. The Max Studio was first introduced as the brand new Mac category and it was the first new categories of Mac ever since the MacBook Air. It replaces the larger 27 inch iMac and the iMac Pro also have been selling super well. The device is essentially a larger Mac Mini but with more ports than the Mac Mini and also than a larger iMac but gives you incredible performance with first getting the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra put inside of it back in 2022 but then in 2023 we had the M2 Max and the M2 Ultra put inside. But now looking forward, we're looking to getting some brand new bits and pieces added to the Mac Studio and of course some of that's going to be the new M3 Max and the M3 Ultra chipset what I'll be talking about in another video but there are some other changes too. And one of them looks like that the next generation of the Mac Studio could have a brand new colour added. It could have that MacBook Pro M3 model colour what is that space black colour and this could be added. At the moment, that new space black is definitely a favourite amongst people buying themselves a MacBook Pro at the moment. And it looks like this could be coming and it will be offered alongside the standard silver colour that we have right now. What may also happen is that we may also see an update to the Studio Display 2 to also come in the space black colour. As for Apple, for just to change the dye of the metal would be quite easy to achieve and no new redesign would be needed for the Mac Studio or even the Studio Display. So the new Mac Studio does sound really amazing, but just on a quick note here, with any of these reports and leaks that I'm showing you, and to be honest with you, quite of them are quite early, a lot of previous leaks from other Apple products have come true, but there's some that have get misinterpreted based on the fact that leakers have actually told us. I can only present you what I've been told and shown, so no leak or rumor is 100% true until we see the final Mac Studio being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what the next generation Mac Studio is going to be like and also want to hear what the latest leaks and rumors are saying no matter what they tell us. So then guys, one of the most popular apps that you're probably going to use on a brand new MacBook like this, and that is going to be your browser. I've been using Opera because it's absolutely amazing, especially with features like Tab Island, where if I've got multiple tabs open, what I can actually do is I can put them all together in one island and then sort of hide them away. And then after, if I want to reopen my tab islands of everything that I've been looking at, it's really easy to do so, as you can see right here. There are many other great features built into Oprah, like Aria. Aria is an AI tool and you can ask it any question that you like. Like for example, why did Apple make the iPhone? And then get a great result coming back. There are also lots of other features too that I absolutely love, like a built-in VPN and also an ad blocker. And also that I can connect to my friends on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger all inside this one browser. I can even customize my look on this browser and also to listen to my favorite music tunes while I'm browsing. So with that guys, download Opera for free. You heard me right there, for free on your devices right now. So then, next of all, let's talk about the release date of the Mac Studio. As the current Mac Studio just came out in the summer of 2023, and then we had the launch of the M3 to the M3 Max chipsets in the MacBook Pros, and also we had the M3 iMac, then it would seem that the M3 Ultra could be around the corner. However, something else to note here is that in 2023, we had no updates to the iPads whatsoever. We did have a new Apple Pencil, but that doesn't really count. And it looks like this is something Apple want to prioritize in 2024. So if this does happen then it is most likely that probably in the spring of 2024 the iPads will be updated first then we'll probably have to wait till the summer so June time for WWDC 2024 before we'd see any updates to the Mac Studio or the Mac Pro. And most likely at this event this is where we will see these new devices with the M3 Max and the M3 Ultra also being announced too. 
Apple tend to do WWDC at the very beginning part of June time, and this is most likely going to be the case in 2024. So if this does happen, then we're most likely going to actually be able to get our hands physically on the new Mac Studio coming out around about mid to end June time in 2024. So next of all, let's do a summary of the Mac Studio M3 Max and M3 Ultra. So looking here, as you can see, it's most likely we're gonna have the same design, but we may have that new space black color as an option this time, alongside the traditional silver color that we've had already for the Mac Studio. Storage options will start at 512 gigabyte. Obviously this will only be if you pick the M3 Max option on this one, but it will go all the way up to eight terabyte SSD like it has done for many many years now with the last two generations. But then for the actual chipset, this is where things are very, very different. So for the M3 Max, it's most likely we'll have a chipset what will start out with a 14 cores like we have inside the MacBook Pro for the M3 Max, and this will be made up of four efficiency cores and then also 10 performance cores. But then obviously this can go up in numbers because obviously there is a more powerful M3 Max chipset, but it's the same with the M3 Ultra. The maximum it will go up to is that you'll have 12 efficiency cores and then you'll also have 26 performance cores. So it's gonna be absolutely fantastic to get inside of this. Also for the neural engine cores, I know I've not written them down here, obviously with the M3 Ultra, it'll be double the amount, so you actually get 32 of those inside of it. For RAM options though, it will start out 36 gigabytes with the M3 Max, this is Apple's new standard instead of 32 gigabytes, and it could go all the way up to 256 gigabytes of RAM if you picked out the M3 Ultra and decide to go for the top amount of RAM inside of it. The actual body again will be an aluminum, unibody frame body don't expect any other big changes to it most of the ports are going to be staying the same so this means four times thunderbolt four ports or usb four ports there'll also be two times usb 3.2 ports on the back there'll also be a 10 gigabit ethernet option obviously this comes as standard with the m3 ultra but for the m3 max it is an optional extra that you can buy on top of it and then there'll also be hdmi 2.1 the starting prices are most likely going to stay the same so getting the standard m3 max so this is the one with the normal 14 cores inside of it and then obviously this is again the normal one with the 30 core gpu inside of it and then 36 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of storage this will start out at the same price of 1999 us dollars but then obviously the more you spec it up the more expensive this will get there we go there is a summary for the new max Studio with the M3 Max and also the M3 Ultra. But for my wishes with the Mac Studio, it's very similar to what Apple have done with the MacBook Air M2 and the MacBook Air M1. I do really hope that Apple continues to sell a Mac Studio with an M2 Max at the very least after they've released the next generation Mac Studio. I wouldn't expect, say, an M2 Ultra to still be available because obviously this is the best chipset you want to get is the M3 Ultra and I want to put that to one side. But it would be nice to at least keep the M2 Max for the Mac Studio as an option, but whether Apple will do this, I'm not too sure. But if they did, I think it'd be really, really good for them. And, you know, for Apple to stop selling one like this, they're definitely missing the trick here. But those are my opinions. And what are your thoughts on this? And what are your thoughts on this new Mac Studio? I'd love to know. So put them down in the comments below. But on that note too, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also at the same time, you'll hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons. Please also make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.